Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. Phyllis McKelvin is accusing fellow motorist Sean Singh of kicking and jumping on her car in a fit of rage. Sean claims Phyllis damaged her bumper. She is countersuing for the cost to fix it. No, no, no. Miss McKelvin, I believe that she hopped on your car. Yes. There's absolutely no excuse for that kind of hissy fit. What you do is you call the police, you have a towed, you do whatever else you have to do. And I understand that you were angry and I understand that you were annoyed. But I also understand what you did. Now, do you have a bill for any damage that was allegedly done to your bumper? Yes. I'd like to take a look at it. Now I'd like to see your bills for fixing your car. This is the estimate I got. I don't have a bill where I paid for my car. This is the estimate where I took the car to have it estimated. That's it. Oh, great. Here, you can return this to her. You can return this to her. Please. It cost her $609 to fix her bumper. That's what I'm awarding you, $609. That means it's a wash. You're supposed to be careful with what you do to your car. You fix the bumper yourself. I would have awarded you money if you hadn't had the hissy fit, if you hadn't stomped on her car. But I her didn't car, stomp on her car. Yeah, I believe you did. I believe you did. I believe that you got angry. I believe that you got angry. I believe that you kicked the car. However, nobody can tell because I can't tell the difference between the damage she did, her grandson did, her car was or anybody damaged. else. Her car had so many damages and so many dents. Absolutely I'd... correct. And you're she wasn't outside Listen with me. to me. You're absolutely correct. But I believe that you did, in fact, put your foot on her car, and you can't do that. As a result of that, Ms. McKelvin is getting no money. She's leaving here today empty-handed. She drives this beat-up car. That's the way she'll continue to drive it, and maybe she'll be more careful. But you have to fix your own bumper, because that's what happens when you have a temper. That's all. Friends are excused. You may step out. I think I should be paid for my damage of my car, because she damaged my car. I did not do no damage to her bumper. And stuff. I was just parked really close to her car. The car that Ms. McKelvin drives is so beaten up, people, and actually to close the hood, they stomp on the hood to close it. My co-worker's calling me saying, Phyllis, is some crazy lady here jumping all over your car. She wanted a brand new car. I wouldn't need her to buy me a new car. I own two cars. I also own a 2008 Dodge Charger. She should be held responsible for something that she did. She was irrational, she was out of control, and she was acting like a crazy woman. Who damages somebody's car and they don't leave a note? I mean, come on. I've been parking there for the last 15 years. I have to be to work at 4.40 in the morning. My car would be parked there again.